The last dictionary that we're going to look at is called the Oxford English Dictionary Online. If you were to access this collection in the print library edition, um, it's a multi-volume set. I can't remember how many volumes, but maybe 26 volumes. It's massive. It takes up uh, a whole um, shelf or two uh, um, in our library's reference collection. So they've digitized that and made it pretty easy to search. Um, don't just go to the Oxford English Dictionary online through Google. You need to access the one that you have access to as a student. One of your questions asks for the history of a word, and this is a, um, the best place to find out that historical information about words. So you're going to come to the library's quick links, and then use the drop-down menu to find the um, Oxford Dictionary. You'll be asked for your username and password, which is your UA username and password. And once you log in, you can start looking for words. Now, some people um, have really kind of overthought this assignment, and they want to know, well, do you want to, did you want to know the first time that this was used in print? Do you want to know the first time that it, the, the date that's mentioned as its first use in the, in the entry with the definition of the word? You know, like, where do you want to get the information from? Well, I'm just going to use, um, let's think of a very uh, easy word, cup as an example. So you've got a cup as a noun, a cup as a verb, um, and then some different ones, and we're just going to find the, the general cup as a noun. A drinking vessel or something resembling it. A small open vessel for liquids, usually of hemispherical or hemispherical shape. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so anyway, then they have some different spellings, and then they start with um, its first usage. And it appears from this that um, I'm not really sure what this C1000 means. Um, sometimes this is a little bit difficult uh, to understand, but I guess it's... Um, from the year from the year 1000 um, would be the answer for this. So it's been around for a really long time. Now this is just um, this is just quotations, which means when was it first used in some kind of written context, and it tells you where that was written. and And you can even look that um, if you look down here uh, to different dates, how it's changed and how it was spelled different. So monks half great cups from 1440, or perhaps that was from 1380. Um, so it's, spelt, it's been spelt different ways. I have put win in my cup, um, spelled C-U-P-P-E. So you can see um, how it's changed over time. Now, uh, that is just the quotation section, which is fine. You could go to the date chart. Um, which would have it laid out um, how its different usage over a period of time. So they have qu two quotes from a 1000, the year 1000, um, two from 12, the 1200s, 12 um, two from the 1300s, two from the 1400s, three quotes from the 1500s, you know, on up through the 1800s. So that that will also give you a, a sense if you're unsure you could click on the date chart and see what the first date is that was used for the words. The etymology is maybe how the word has changed over time so they'll include different spellings of the word and maybe different subtle changes. Words really um, do change over time. Some words change more than others. But um, the Oxford English Dictionary is sort of the quintessential dictionary uh, kind of the the final word on um, words in the English language, both from, you know, American English and Great Britain English, etc. And, and uh, they do add new words to it um, on occasion. I thought it was pretty funny that um, Jiggy was actually in the dictionary. Slang, jittery, fidgety, trembling, especially as the result of drug withdrawal. And they actually um, have it um, from 1896 the saddle was scarcely fastened and his jiggy animal so shook him that the center of one of his Egyptian orders dropped out and was lost and then they go clear up through um, 1997 um, something what's that all about some drug agent book 
mentally agitated or disturbed and crazy. And then they have the dates that that was used, 1995. Um, excitedly energetic, uninhibited, often in a sexual manner, to get jiggy. Um, I didn't really know that's what it meant. But anyway, uh, this was used in, this particular use of the word was used in 1998, 1997, 2002, and 2000. And they even refer to um, Will Smith's song, Getting Jiggy Wit It. <laughs> um, and then they have a line from that song. So they do use, you know, current terminology and they add it to the history of a, of a word in the um, Oxford English Dictionary. One way that this source can be pretty interesting is if you're doing any kind of a literature um, or historical research paper and you're reading an original manuscript that was written a long time ago, you might wonder what they mean when they say a certain word. If it doesn't make 100% um, sense to you the first time you read it, you could come and look up that word and then find out how that word was used at that particular um, period of time and it will give you a better understanding of what they were actually trying to say um, in the historical manuscript. So um, it's actually a pretty fun source to just kind of play around in and uh, one of your questions in your homework you need to answer using the Oxford English Dictionary online the one that you um, have to log in to get into so don't try to answer it using just an, a, a different kind of dictionary this is the one I want you to use.